Hello everybody and welcome to Friday Night Stand Firm. I'm Jimmy Ventura and with me is Gorilla Mezzo. Hello, happy Friday everyone. And listen, we're giving you some tag team action tonight on Friday Stand Firm after that absolutely incredible match between Dress for Business and Six Feet Down Under. We said Fuck it, we're just going to give you all tag teams all the time. And uh, that's what this edition of Friday Stand Firm's going to be. And we're starting it off with this uh, bursting on the scene for some fucking reason. <laughs> Elp Meme and Humorous Chimp, they call themselves EZ, I think. They have themselves mystery opponents for tonight. After talking a bit of shit about the JFW Tag Team Champions, about the JFW Tag Team Division, and then going directly after the booking, saying it was bigoted against people of their weird choices in life <laughs> where they dress like a fucking pigeon and a chimp or whatever. And uh, yeah, so it looks like the bookers have found them some opponents... And uh, we are going to open our Friday night. Stand firm. Elk meme and humorous chimp getting the snot kicked out of them by somebody. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, who could it be? There's, you know, looking at the rest of the card, there's uh, there's pretty much only Das Hats uh, there, isn't there? And, and Cock and Ball Torture. <laughs> we'll, we'll see who it is. Yeah, there's still some, there, there are still some options out there for who it could be. Uh, I would be surprised if the tag team champs would deign to have to face these two idiots again. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a fair shout. <laughs> Can it be a six against six? I would, if it could bezel, it would be. <laughs> oh dear. Goodbye, WWE 2K19 fans. <laughs> <laughs> we hardly need ye. <laughs> ah, you're you're confirmed JFW now, now, Demon. <laughs> you're not one of these WWE assholes. <laughs> yep. That that made me put on followers only. Because they were such dicks. <laughs> Coming in going, you suck at this game. <laughs> Which one are you controlling? <laughs> oh my god. Halloween, Garrett. Which is really weird because I feel like almost everyone who streams this game just streams AI versus AI. Yeah, it looks that way, doesn't it? I looked at a few and they were pretty much uh, the night. Oh, oh, the colors have shifted. And you know what that means? It's Skura Mezzo, and I gotta believe he's gonna be followed out by his tag team partner, Satterfield, answering the call, looking to come and put away these two fucking idiots. And let me just say, I, I, you know, I like to maintain neutrality here, but thank <laughs> fucking goodness, because fuck these two assholes. Boy, do I not need to see them wrestling in tag team action any longer. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely confirmed you have table leg. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a problem with furries. I just have a problem with furries and wrestling. Yeah, Come on yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, true. What they get up behind closed doors is their business. Skuro would never would never <laughs> hate on somebody for something like yeah. that. Yeah. As Wardham points out, this is not a backstage brawl. This could absolutely backfire. <laughs> 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 and Satterfield in the worst of ways. <laughs> well, let's hope for all of our sakes that it doesn't. <laughs> oh, I, I forgot that you don't have the uh, you don't have the tag team entrance for these two, but it's probably just as well because I'd rather see uh, Skuro's entrance anyway. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't know you made one. Oh, you made one for the pay per view, did you? Yes, I did. Yeah, I've never, I've never got one. I can't remember it. Today. It it's, I mean, it before. wasn't anything. It wasn't anything special. They just no. walked out. Right. Yeah, it was so long ago that I couldn't remember. And his partner, oh, this is horrible having headphones on, by the way. <laughs> 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 
Oh yeah, that happens sometimes at Royal when uh when you when you get gifted when people gift subs they they give them to you if you were in the channel at some point. So I I've had the same thing with like subs gifted to me uh, after I'd gone. Yeah, and obviously happened. It's happened on this channel, you know, that there someone gifted subs when there was like nobody watching, and then <laughs> people got the subs that weren't there. Right here we go. There's Scurom. And there we go. Raw power on display by Scuro, just working him into the corner there. Ref going to have to separate them. And once again, just completely dominating Elp in this uh, in the in the power category here. <laughs> yep. Um, I no, didn't... these are not the snackers. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, oh my goodness, Skuro oh! for Tri's small package! <laughs> wow. Skuro playing with Tri's small package there. He has been he has been absolutely studying Tri's small package, but he could not get the victory with it. <laughs> I don't know, I just think I just think Skuro displayed to the whole world that he's got a small package of his own. <laughs> well, we have uh we have video proof of uh of that package being the size of Tony's neck. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh God, help! <laughs> I, 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 I was I was lean Gary. That's why I wasn't talking much. I'm done now. Sorry. <laughs> Just the bird keep his hat on. It's a good question. Magic. <laughs> Tony's it's, too. That's, that's your question. That's the thing you find hardest to believe about all of this. <laughs> Tony's two inch neck. <laughs> it's two inches, but it's shaped like a can of tuna. <laughs> oh, God. That would be weird, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it would be ineffective. <laughs> All right, and, and in tag oh. Satterfields, we try and get our, our common. Oh, look at this! Oh, the 3D! Right. <laughs> um, oh man, dominant stuff by Skurro and Satterfield here, but Satterfield comes up empty, hits the empty uh the empty corner there, and now Elp Meme working him back over towards Chimp here. Yep. And to Soul the Good Bro is Battle Brothers. I should have put details, but I didn't. I just did it while I was playing. You know, so I should, I should <laughs> flesh that out later. Hello, Kingslayer. <laughs> Pro probably help. Yeah, probably help. I'd be with you. Oh, the play help. <laughs> I had a feeling this is going to be Oh, fucking help, Bessel. <laughs> <laughs> help me, absolutely one of the few streamers to have streamed with a sponge on his head. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> All right. Well, we have already lost the rails on a loose and fast Friday night stand firm. <laughs> mm. There's no coming back from this one, I don't think. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. What a oh, maneuver. look at that Death Valley driver. Nice move by Chimp. Does he have Satterfield here? I don't think so. Oof, nearly. Nope, just a two count. <laughs> nearly. Oh, He's just trying to kiss him or something there, but uh, <laughs> the ape got him. Oh. Yeah, failed to pick up the big man that time, and now he's going to pay for it. Look at this. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Bloody Sunday. Oh, boy. Vicious kicks. And those vicious tiny-footed kicks by Satterfield. <laughs> Uh, may maybe Tom Schniz. Uh, he did the Rings of Saturn. Oh. But uh, a lot of people do Death Valley Drivers. Uh, nice in. sent on there for the pin. Oh, Skurro right in and on him, though. Oh, and now he's just going to take them all on. No, Elp's in there with that nice neck breaker. <laughs> and a bitch slap to boot. <laughs> As we reset here, match continues. Skuro was a bit embarrassed by Elp Meme there, wasn't he? He won that exchange. 
But I guess Skuro did break up the pin at least. Yeah, Skuro beat him to the pinfall <laughs> pretty quickly. That's all that really matters. Yep. Uh-oh, look out, Chimp, here comes. Oh, boy. That vicious running knee is going to put him out. <laughs> oh, that might have done it for Chimp. We'll see what Elp's got. No, Chimp right back with the arm drag. Unbelievable. Nice DDT there, too, by Chimp. Uh, pretty impressive stuff by uh, Chimp and Elp meme here. Uh, Elp does not want to tag in, though. <laughs> Stop fucking fighting everything! Ah! Oh, look out! Backbreaker there, and now Satterfield doing the double <laughs> jerk off right in the face of Humorous Chimp, and he's paying for it. Chimp firing up now. Oh, no! Big foot kicks him in the face, busted him open, and here comes Humorous Chimp. He is on a rampage right now, but he just cannot contend with the bigger man as Satterfield. No, he can! Catches the foot, Chimp staying on top of him here. And now maybe we'll see Elp Meme back in this match. No! Wow. Satterfield fights out of that corner, sends him towards Skuro. Will he tag in? Skuromezzo, he does. Big move coming here, I think. Big back body drop by the tag team of Skuro and Satterfield. And Skuro now sends him into that far corner. Oh, oh gosh, you just whipped him right off of it. What power on display by Skuromezzo. That was very impressive. And, you know, Chimp's been valiant here, but uh, he's still refusing to tag out, isn't he? And this could cost him in the end. Yeah, he needed to get that tag when he had Satterfield in the corner there, and he didn't go for it. And that might that might be the difference maker here. We'll see. Nice. Uh, he's using his speed against the bigger men. And it's working out for him. And now thinking about tagging in Elp. And yeah, there it is. Here comes Elp meme. <laughs> what a move. Flails his feet into the back of Skuro's head. Now Skuro feeling it, not feeling any sort of pressure or threat by Elp Meme, and nor should he. <laughs> oh, but oh, nice uh, arm drag counter though. Oh, and those big, those big webbed feet of Elp Meme <laughs> caught Skuro and knocked him on his ass there, but not a second time. Skuro steps through, oh, and look Boston at this, the crab. full, the Boston Crab, the man from Boston locking in the Boston Crab, tries to make him tap, but he cannot seem to get the leverage. What a way. Oh, and the vicious peck to the head. And now, Elp gonna fly. <laughs> oh, the, oh, the falling head peck. Yeah, the catches top rope. Skuro with it. And in everyone comes on the pinfall. Oh, oh God, that was oh. so close. <laughs> what happened there? The Humorous Jump came up short to intercept Satterfield. I thought for sure he had it. And Satterfield somehow plowed through and broke up the pin. To save this match, he had Skuro pinned there. Unbelievable. I guess Chimp just misjudging the distance, and now Chimp is down and out, and Elp is in serious trouble right now. Oh, no! Catching the, <laughs> oh, catching the foot. Great counter. Yeah, absolutely. And another vicious peck, too! Three! Oh, ref, stop it! That's basically a foreign object, if you ask me. <laughs> And now he's going to use the Boston Crab on Skuro. Oh, what man. humiliation there. Locked in by his own move. <laughs> and he's locked in the Boston Crab. Is he going to tap? He's got it in deep. Surely not. Surely not. No. And that was a nice Boston Crab locked in by Elf, too. <laughs> Pretty much, Sandwich. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my dog's not liking this match. <laughs> That's for damn sure. <laughs> oh, but nice counter by Skuro. Very innovative. Drops him down. Chimp finally stirring on the outside. Here comes that pump handle shoulder breaker. Catches him. Oh, back of the head almost. And now it might be time for a pop-up power bomb. But now is. Chimp back on his feet here. Going to have to play some defense, I think. And there it is. Pop-up oh. power bomb. That's good night, Elf. Here comes Chimp, though. Oh, oh Chimp, <laughs> Mr. Bear. Chimp. 
Chimp having serious trouble. He had Satterfield beat by about four steps. Chimp fell short and missed the breakup. And Skuro and Satterfield get the win over those two cunts. Cunts. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> well, Chimp and Elf are going to have to go backstage and have a chat about their uh, about their mutual efforts there because uh, Elf, Elf really might have some complaints about that performance by Chimp. <laughs> the Chimp mask. <laughs> Holy crap. I'll be right back. i got to let a dog out while we get ready for our next match. And, folks, you know what time it is now. It's time for Sex Feet Down Under. Versus plain white toast and a lot more to talk about in this match. I'll be right back. Glorious. Yeah, we've got a, uh, we've got two guys who are dead, and one guy <laughs> who acts like he is. <laughs> it's gonna be great. <laughs> Oh yeah, SAS. Yeah, yeah, SAS is what we is what we thought, wasn't it? Um, could be, could be. Scoot, I look quite like Scoot or Todd. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's good like. Uh, no, no, Kingslayer. My ears, my ears, really bad today. So I'm just trying to get through this, to be honest. <laughs> All right, well, plain white toast versus six feet down under. You've got Flicky Flack on one side there trying to lay his claim to a single shot at the World Heavyweight Championship. But Night Demon obviously has the backing with his unholy alliance of Mr. Jims McMahon. And a match like this could really help make that determining factor. We have a pay-per-view coming up in just over a week's time. Yeah. And uh, it, I got to believe it's going to be one of these two uh, guys will be vying for JBG's World Heavyweight Championship. Yep. <laughs> or maybe both. Ooh. Right. There you go. There's the prediction. It's hard to do them yourself, isn't it? You know, it's like it was good when Fault Force did them for us, and then <laughs> Bezel did them as well. But um, it's hard when you've got to remember yourself. <laughs> it's like talking to the opponent in Blood Bowl. It's like it's just fucking difficult. I go through that every JFW episode. It's really hard to do a commentary broadcast all on your own. <laughs> yeah, so did Abezel. It's not a problem at all. <laughs> 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 and here they are, plain white toast. It is Friday night, and while we're talking about Flicky Flack, we cannot ignore the bread mask, the Friday fuckboy. He turns it on for Friday nights. Will he do it one more time tonight and help carry his tag team partner to a win and possibly to a title shot? That sure would be something. It sure would be. People betting hard on PWT, who'd blame them? Well, I wouldn't bet on them personally. Well, Night Demon's much better in singles matches. Yeah. Yeah, to be fair. It's a, it's a team game. But Gdynik is, is quite the competitor too. But I mean, so flicky, isn't he? It's just, uh, how does anyone deal with having the bread mask on their team? <laughs> Went right in for a pin there, Gadanik. Starting things off against Tom Schniz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apparently, El. Apparently. <laughs> oh, what a maneuver. Devastating. I was only joking, of course, the bread, uh, well, Tom Schnizzle. Who knows if that's the deal with the <laughs> bread mask or not. <laughs> Nobody knows what lies under that bread-faced mask. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I 
Tom, uh, Tom really taking it to Nick here. But here comes G'day Nick. Now, you cannot sleep on G'day Nick. Certainly, uh, Night Demon steals all the headlines. But G'day Nick do, does a lot of the hard work and was such a dominant force in that uh, what turned out to be a losing venture in that just absolutely epic match against uh, Dress for Business. Really thought G'day Nick was going to be the one to save it on more than one occasion. And here comes the big man, Flicky Flack. Going right after Night Demon. He tagged in as soon as Night Demon was the eligible man. You know Flicky Flack wants to show up Night Demon in this one. Wow, assholes, Tom Smith. <laughs> oh, believe me, uh, my hope is to uh, install Blood Bowl 3 before Jimmy Fantastic can. No reason. <laughs> Oh, oh look at that! Look at that! The flak hammer. Oh no, sorry, that was the jackknife power bomb. Excuse me. Mm. By Flicky Flack, but uh, Night Demon shrugging it off there and fighting his way out of that corner, and uh, runs it with the chop. And then we always well, seen this time and time again. Night Demon firing himself up, probably a zombie to follow. <laughs> flak knife power bomb. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, nice. German suplex there, and he's really got Flicky reeling right now. Flicky sends him over the ropes. He's going to tag into Tom. Smart move by Flicky there. Uh, maybe not as aggressive as you'd like to see in a wrestling match, but Flicky playing uh, playing it smart there. He got caught out a little bit, and uh, getting Tom in to try and keep the fresh men going here, but uh, does not look to have paid off for him. <laughs> no. No, I'm sure he's worked it all out on a PowerPoint presentation and a spreadsheet as to when they should tag each other, so uh, all part of the plan. <laughs> Pretty sure the Fred thinks it's a bad idea. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Nick back in just the way we started this match here, and look at this. Nice, nice submission move locked in on the bread mask there, but left those knees free to punch his or knee his way out and uh you know what if anyone else can get going quick it is the bread mask nice hurricane rana take down and side suplex here and now the friday fuck boy might be trying to steal the show nope he's gonna tag in flicky never mind <laughs> <laughs> but yeah the quick flicky times are good, in. Aren't they keep the momentum up uh all right Need, oh no flicky flicky Flicky, of course, the man who killed G'day Nick. Yeah. you got to believe there's some bad blood there. Nice <laughs> fall away bicycle kick by Flicky Flack. Or excuse me, by G'day Nick. And look oh, at this, the Uranagi nice. power slam there. And now in for the pin. <laughs> Just a one count. It's going to take a little bit more than that to put down Flicky Flack. Oh, he's looking for the, the koala clutch. He sure is. Koala Clutch, he's got it locked in. This could be trouble. Submission moves oh, really effective in tag team formats. <laughs> and that's going to do it. He's got him. He's got him. And the story of the night wasn't Night Demon versus Flicky Flack. It was that long-seated revenge by Gdanik. Going right after the neck, if you will, of Flicky Flack. And maybe that's what made Flicky Flack tap. He knew he had him by the neck. You know what Kadenik's thinking, and Flicky tagging out before that could be much worse. Dominant win there by six feet down under. And Flicky Flack's going to have to go back to his PowerPoint and drop another plan if he wants to stay alive for the World Heavyweight Championship. Yep. <laughs> exactly, Tom. And next up, we've got the match you've all been waiting for. <laughs> Oh, Absolutely, boy. folks. Marcel McDaniels versus Crusher. And this one, folks, it's definitely happening. It's not a tag match, but it's definitely happening here tonight on Friday. Stand firm. We have been waiting months for this match to finally pop off. Cannot wait to see the in-ring results of this one. Let's get to ringside. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Wait a second. We're backstage here with Papa Piccolo, your Plim Plum Pluserweight champion. 
And there's Antsy. Antsy, the man who still does not work for the JFW, <laughs> just keeps showing up and freelancing, apparently. And, of course, uh, if you remember on Monday, Claw, in a triple threat elimination match, Papa Piccolo beat off two men in the middle of the ring using Antsy's finishing move to assert dominance, clearly showboating, and I don't think Antsy liked that one bit. No, he called him Ferrero Rocher, didn't he? Yeah, sure did. <laughs> and now, Papa Piccolo getting ambushed backstage. And folks, I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I'm hearing my ear right now. We are going to have to bump Marcel McDaniels versus Crusher for time. Uh, we oh, will get no. to that match as soon as we can. We'll try and get it scheduled for next week. But right now, we have to stay with this. This is our Plim Plum Pluserweight champion. We've got to stay where the action is. And the action right now is, oh, my goodness, it's that trash can driven right into the head of Antsy. And we all know what happens with Antsy and head injuries. <laughs> yep. Oh, but the self-rock bottom. Antsy coming right back and going after Pop uh, Piccolo. <laughs> oh, a little bit of crab crab thumbs there. <laughs> the old crab thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> oh Christ! Oh, good lord! I <laughs> didn't amazing. expect them to elevate like that. <laughs> no, that was incredible, wasn't it? I haven't seen that before. Oh, this is pretty dominant from the champ recently, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, he has been on an absolute tear. Was a shocker when he won the title, but since that moment has been absolutely proving that he is your Plim Plum Pluseway champion. Look at this maneuver. <laughs> oh my goodness. Driving that head in by the throat. <laughs> and see. <laughs> I, I gotta let a dog in. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why he did that. <laughs> oh, dear. oh. Yeah, it's weird in how the odds work and that. It just makes work betting based on the bets rather than. Anything. Oh, God, look at that. <laughs> and Nancy's head got caught there. Now I think he's bleeding too to make things even worse. Oh, look at this. Papa Piccolo going up on the equipment <laughs> box here. <laughs> oh, he, some, I think he caught him. He definitely he caught him. He, he hurt his knee, knee in the process. The yeah. Oh, he really hurt his knee there. But he's back up on his feet and stomps him right in the crotch. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, just uh, nothing pretty from these Plim Plum Pluserweights in this one. Just trying to knock each other out any way they can. And uh, Tony plays poorly being interviewed back around there. Does not seem to care. We haven't seen haven't seen much good from Tony plays poorly. <laughs> and uh, possible uh, questions being asked over there. Yep. Oh, God. That was brutal. Ansi coming back into this now. Yeah, sure is. Very evenly matched, I got to say. Much as it would be a shame, given how things have been playing out with Antsy and this uh, title run here, but uh, Papa Piccolo 1v1 versus Antsy would be a hell of a championship match. Yep. <laughs> Drives him into there. Oh, now down the hallway. Will we see the electrical box there? Uh... Look out, Tony. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I, I, I would I would be very concerned with all the uh, metallic paint on uh, Papa Piccolo. <laughs> if he were to hit that box, he'd go up like a fucking Roman candle. <laughs> oh, boy. Oof, what a power slam there by Antsy. Oh, just brutally raking the bridge of his nose there. Just doing anything to deliver any kind of damage he can. This is, uh, oh, there's those crab arms again. <laughs> this sure is not what you'd expect from either of these guys. Absolute brutality. 
Surprised no one's used a weapon. I mean, especially Ansi, he's a proper dirty bastard, isn't he? Indeed. <laughs> chin breaker after chin breaker. Hello, Unseen. Hello, Frosty. Hello, Unseen. Yeah, I was going to say, Tony looking pretty jacked back there. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's been, been working, working out. out. <laughs> 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 it's de definitely Tony plays pool. <laughs> Fancy just working, working those legs right now. <laughs> maybe he injured them, you know, with that move. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe. Injured them. And see, smart enough somehow. Somehow he's got enough brain cells left. Oh, but then... oh, but not a, not enough after that neck breaker <laughs> knocked him right the fuck out, and the plimplom plus away champion standing tall at the end of that one. What a Ooh. weird way to end that match. It was no yep. single knee stomp in that, like we saw in that epic, <laughs> epic 1v1 backstage of Skuro versus the Golden Fagor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but now it's Extreme Rules, Descati versus Table Leg Wanger. Two Northerners, the final two from that over-the-top battle royale that got Descati his shot at the Wem Dope title next week. And uh, these two are going to face off. Nothing on the line except some blood here. Extreme rules. Descati versus Table Leg Wagon. Yeah, I mean, some blood, some structural kendo sticks, and maybe, uh, the, you know, oh, whoever hey, wins. A sausage roll. Some Greg's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Greg's revenge, exactly. <laughs> All right, well, buckle up, folks. It's time for Descotti to make his way out to this ring. This man, you got to know, Mr. E is watching this one closely. This man's getting a shot at the Wemdope title from the undefeated Mr. E. Yep. <laughs> How many sausage rolls is this? <laughs> All of them. <laughs> the stakes are high. <laughs> Oh, dude, do you remember that one of your mistakes are funny? A great Greg story. <laughs> God, I always forget how good the sentence is. Sausage and beans. Sausage and beans the best one. Or better. And then this one. Whee! <laughs> Amazing. I don't think so, no, Ansi. Oh, wow. It's, it's, gone, it's gone hard on Wanga. <laughs> you never ever do. <laughs> Well, after watching that intro, I feel like I got to go hard on Descotti. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Fucking grass. <laughs> And here he is, table leg wanger. He's uh, he's certainly made something of his time post Jimmy Fantastic after really just <laughs> annihilating him at the Royal Rumble, ending that feud. Uh, we, I don't think we've really seen Jimmy since, but we sure have seen some table leg wanger. And here he is facing off against the Scotty. What a fucking! I mean, you know, to Scott is a monster, but he's just dwarfed by Wanger. Isn't he? <laughs> he really is. <laughs> but I don't know that uh, I don't know that Wanger can contend with the uh, the agility 
<laughs> the surprise agility of, of the Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> yep. No. Oh. oh, big boot and just kicked him across the fucking ring. And uh, Descotti really in charge right now, but uh, the, again, that size from Wanger can change this at any moment, and he just did there. In, in an instant with that massive elbow. Puts uh, very hopeful Scott pin, in. though. Incredibly yeah. hopeful, yeah. <laughs> just the one count. <laughs> oh, and Wanger, Wanger imploring the crowd to get behind him, paying for that decision, because he just gets thrown the fuck out of the ring by Descotti. <laughs> He tossed him straight off. It's like just windmilling in here, this guy. Yep. Wang with no answer for it. None at all, and here comes the Scotty. Again, this is extreme rules, so there will be no countouts in this one. Oh, nice maneuver. Oh, look out. Look out. Oh, oh no. Just <laughs> javelin tosses him right into that turnbuckle post. <laughs> yeah, table leg is that size in real life, pretty much. <laughs> Maybe not as defined. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not as defined. He's got a few Gregs over his muscles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just a a few years worth of Greg's, but I gotta believe he's still probably more muscular than most of us watching this. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't want to run run into him on a dark night outside escapades. <laughs> oh well, well, this is not false count anywhere, so this sharpshooter isn't gonna win a match for him. But you know, being in a sharpshooter is pretty brutal at all times. The Scotty's legs are gonna be feeling this one for a while. Yeah. <laughs> there is a women's division, um, but it's it's very small. It's non-televised, yeah. It's non-televised, yeah, basically. Oh, we might be seeing it. Yep, he's going to tune up the band there, and he's looking for the super kick. Here comes Wanger. Oof. Oh, he's, he might have put him out with that one, and this would be something. He's got him. He, he does. Wanger winning easily, all things considered. <laughs> One super kick, put him out, and uh, Table Leg Wanger is not getting a Wemdo title shot on Monday, but he just uh, he just planted his flag in Scotty nonetheless. Yeah, he's beating the guy who's getting the shot, so that really <laughs> So yeah, that's uh, definitely definitely big win big win for Wanger over the ex world champion Scotty. Indeed, Wanger standing tall there. Rough night for Descotti. Yeah, and now is. here we go. Lemon is good and Fant Fox of Dressed for Business with that epic match on Monday Night Claw where they got the win over six feet down under are facing off against Zetok the Dane and k -Folk. They are Dansk Dansk Revolution. And this one is really intriguing to me because uh, whereas Elf and Chimp have uh, seemed to think they've created some sort of forward momentum for themselves for a title shot, Zetok the Dane and PTK have won all those matches and actually have, if like if, without question, the uh, gotten themselves to the front of the line for a tag team title shot, and uh, a win here tonight would would just 
guarantee it if you're asking me. Yeah, but Lemon absolutely. is good and Fanfucks putting on one of the best matches we've ever seen in the JFW just a few days ago. That could be enough to win over some hearts, and another win here could really do them wonders to get them right back in that title shot. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, yeah, so, so when it comes to the whole women's division, gonna gonna sort like sort stuff out on Wednesday. So if you if you if you're interested in getting a wrestler, the 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 date to come is on a Wednesday when I'm like creating wrestlers or whatever, and obviously fill in the sheet. There they are, dressed for business. Yep. <laughs> I also thought about having women's matches on the pre-show wang, but then, then it takes on a, a worse connotation then, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here we, here we are. It's Dansk Dansk Revolution. Good day, Absolute terror, and and it's been this man Zetok the Dane who's really been carrying this. Yeah, he's been uh, great, hasn't he? He has been excellent in his last couple matches. <laughs> but K Fox certainly got the pizzazz. <laughs> Yeah, K-Fog's got the fans, Zetok's got the moves, and they together could be the complete package. Yep. Hello, Marzi. Yeah, if you're around, Night Beam, you can have a look and tell us what you think and stuff. I mean, we've got we've got six, haven't we? So you know, if we could get it to like eight, and then of which like three would actually be real, that'd be pretty good, wouldn't it? Um, hello, lemon. It's it's well, it was first it was past tense K fog, but it's also prime time Kevin. So there you go, multi multi use. <laughs> hello, HTK. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Here you. we go. Lemon is good. Face it off with Z Talk today and to start us off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Z Talk has been just dominant, hasn't he? Getting the getting the nod sure to in the ring ahead of PTK. But <laughs> likewise, Lemon was instrumental in that win, hitting three or four troubles in paradise on on six feet down under. Yep. Pink twat Kevin. It could be pink twat Kevin. <laughs> That's what you want. <laughs> yeah, no, prime time, prime time, Kevin. Past tense, K Fog. Does that work? <laughs> A power top core, if you want. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> <laughs> and we're up to a six count here by the ref, but back in the ring we go. Well, and tags in PTK. Whoa, he almost didn't go in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chimp. Chimp, not your best night, my friend. Not your best night. Oh, my goodness. The power sending Lemon out. Lemon going after Zetok. He knows he's the secret weapon there. <laughs> oh. is and Z oh boy, and Zetok having none of it. Going after Lemon. Zetok is not the legal man, but he's certainly getting the big move in there. Isn't he just... PTK, another one who's surprisingly realistic. <laughs> He's a yeah. big lad in real life. 
quite placid in real life. But uh, yeah, Lemon having trouble moving him. That's for sure. Has to su settle for the knee. Drops in on the knee. Uh oh. Okay. Bounces him off that pole. We're up to a seven count, but I think we're going back in the ring now. Yep, sure are. <laughs> yeah, that's in the my hole was amazing, wasn't it? Holy shit. I am pretty I'm pretty sure Jimmy Fantastic was shouting that at Royal Rumble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's fair. But there was more penetration involved in his uh <laughs> in his suffering. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> Everyone shouts my balls when they find more than my copy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh PTK really getting control here on Lemon is good. Yep. <laughs> oh man, yeah, the man. earthquake. <laughs> Lemon getting him back in the right corner. He might be tagging the fan fox here. Yeah, somehow gets him. Oh, nope. I thought mm -hmm. he was going to stare him down in the corner. Instead, PTK off. able to wrestle out of it there, just savagely throwing him aside. And then big high elevation back body drop suplex there. Very nice. Okay, and finally, fan fox tags in, bounces off of PTK. Ooh, what a super. Oh, boy. They sure are, Lemon. They've been on fire for weeks now. But again, not to say nothing about for a Monday night's match uh, that Dress for Business had. Can Bant Fox and Lemon is good get back in this match? They're showing no signs. Oh, my God. Dropped him on his damn head there. <laughs> I did not see it, one yet. It, it was amazing. Um... <laughs> oh, Jesus. Nia Jax, Nia Jax missed the leg drop on the apron and just landed on her ass. And then to sell the pain she was in, decided to shout, My hole! <laughs> yeah. It was um, a, a bizarre decision, to say the least. It was the best work of her career, is what it was. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ah, my groin! <laughs> football oh, the big groin. Spine yeah, football in the groin. Oh, the spine buster. Are we gearing up for a crab walk into Fox Bottom? Nope, just Fox going right to the Fox Bottom. There's the Fox Bottom on Z Talk today, and he is pretty fresh, though. Let's see here. Oh, PTK right there. Lemon is good, though. Had some problems with the ropes. <laughs> It would be funny for them to come out in, in pajamas and be dressed for working from home, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I mean to be fair, Jim, she also just gets paid to beat women up for real, doesn't she? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's terrible. Oh, what a maneuver by Z Talk the Dane. And now he's going to stand there and revel in it. Pulled off the nice maneuver. Going to really enjoy that in the middle of the ring as he stands there deciding what he wants to do. If he wants to wrestle, maybe go out for a drink, take a leak. Nope, he's going right back into wrestle. <laughs> yeah, it's a good idea, Lemon. Yeah, just put boxer shorts on him and leave him instead. <laughs> <laughs> and Z Talk, nice splash in the corner. Trying to take away that fox bottom arm of uh, of uh, of uh, Fan Fox and tags in Big Kev. Oh boy, here we go! <laughs> oh oh boy! Oh boy! Look out, Fan Fox! This is not where you want to be. Oh, PTK elevating. No, oh, I think he's going. No. Oh, PTK! He vastly overestimated his ability to jump all the way across the ring there. <laughs> oh, no, PTK. Just a little short. And here comes the lemon drop. Oh, he's not online. Oh, now he is. 
<laughs> I thought he was gonna lemon drop two feet off of him. <laughs> yes, I did not. Wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Lemon drop by Lemon is good, but uh, right back on his feet and barreling him down. Oh shit, choke And slam. now looking for the choke slam. K Fog, <laughs> big choke slam. Oh, F Fox is not there to save this. This could be it. No, oh, two count. Lemon kicks out. Shawnee flashlights. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Silky smooth stuff from a lemon is good. Indeed, another pin here. Again, Fanfox nowhere to be seen right now. Ref slaughter count. And K Fog kicks out anyway. Yeah, instantly. <laughs> <laughs> and now Fanfox up on the apron now, but uh, Lemon is good is not. Dumped out of the ring by the Lariat there. <laughs> Again, uh, Zetok looking like he wants to get involved. dog is sitting like under my fucking chair it's really <laughs> terrifying come on man <laughs> I'm trying not to roll over his face <laughs> <laughs> oh big counter from big kev oh not fast enough though <laughs> lemon's got I speed have, I, I have a carpet over here at night demon i'm not doing that <laughs> Seven count here. Oh, no, back in. Oh, we were close to catching Z Talk on that throw in, too. Yep. And now Lemon tags in Fan Fox. Oh, double team move coming here. Watch your arm. <laughs> And then right into the neck breaker. Oh, oh he man. misses on the big splash, though. Oh, boy. And Fan Fox firing himself up here. Hits three, uh, three clotheslines in a row and then stomps away on that bunny tail. <laughs> and, no oh. Yeah, just the squat didn't go full crab walk. Oh, he's but, going for the uh, shitty sharpshooter. Shit yeah, the shitty sharpshooter <laughs> locked in. Will that make Big Kev tap? Oh, it will! He's done it. <laughs> Dress for business, getting the win over Don Stunt's Revolution. And that's sure throwing a monkey wrench into the tag team division. Both of these teams are were uh, coasting on some big wins, but now 2-0 and oh in a row here. Ant Fox and Lemon is good. Dressed for business. Let it just put themselves in the driver's seat. Maybe. Thought we'd seen the last of them. But, uh... What a win. And you got to know Lean Gary and Oriolensis are watching. Well, Lean Gary probably is. Oriolensis probably isn't. <laughs> We're watching this match intently, seeing if this is who's going to challenge them. They've got a lot of history with those guys for the uh, Two Heads Championships. Yep. <laughs> maybe night demon maybe <laughs> and here it is folks your main event of the night the it's the ypa taking it. on try and otter oil for some reason <laughs> and now of course jbg beating try on monday night claw to get foxamania his title shot at our next pay-per-view for the extra arms belt championship to try and get that title back Back to the town of Yorkshire, and uh, you know, try and Otter Oil. I'm gonna try and win this one. Yep. <laughs> it's quite the team, isn't it? Like a Sammy Ryan well, detective. But there you go. Well, I think uh, I think Otter Oil, Otter Oil might have impressed a little bit in his table match against uh, against Night Demon. He came, took him right to the limit there, but ended up losing it to the Zombie. And uh, got himself a main event match here. This would be the kind of match that you go out and win in, and you can just turn your entire career around. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You know, yeah. Odd Riley's had some good performances. Um, he's been let down by his complete inability to kick out of a pinning attempt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he does need to add that to his game, how to kick out of a pin. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> but he's kind of on the cusp of something, you feel. <laughs> And will we've already seen one small package today. Will we see another one? Tries small package could end this match before it even gets going. Yeah, that JBG still the world champion. He sure is, but for how much longer? There's some violent men breathing down his neck. And I don't just mean on his Saturday nights. <laughs> It's not just something that happens in Bean Manor. <laughs> yeah. No doubt Foxomania wants that gold back around his waist. <laughs> Indeed. And yeah, they look a little lopsided right now. <laughs> yeah, no, right? I don't think you can hold Sting getting injured by a move to the, uh, the against the move so much. Like that dude <laughs> is not very healthy. <laughs> and here he is, your extra arms belt champion. The biggest, the most prestigious belt in the company, and this fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get you, Ansi. <laughs> but again, I mean, Vince McMahon once tore both his quads running to the ring down the ramp, so, like, <laughs> any move can go wrong in professional wrestling. That's true. Need. And here's the moment we were all waiting for. Otter oil in the main event. Savor it, folks. It doesn't happen often. Oh, boy. Yeah, but that's, that is directly a fault of Goldberg. <laughs> <laughs> Shitty sharpshooter works just fine. Lemon is good. Yeah. It's because it's it's animated by a very specifically bad version of the sharpshooter. <laughs> yep. The little worst sharpshooter of all time. I don't know why he fucking bothered doing it. He must have had like a submission match sometime, right? Or thought, I'm going to be a real wrestler and do a sharpshooter. <laughs> Do you know what I'm seeing? I mean, there's certainly a case, wasn't there? You know, certain people would say that uh, Jimmy Fantastic uh, hacked the AB somehow. And uh, that's how he got it. And then obviously Wanger kind of stole it off him, didn't he? And it's all been... It has all been a bit of a mess, it feels, since the AB. Yeah, um, well, that's kind of what happens. I mean, that's the top... That, that was the top of the card belt. Still is, I mean, in theory. The top of the belt, you know, the top of the ladder kind of belt in the JFW. And uh, to get to the top of the ladder, you got to uh, – those guys that make the biggest careers in wrestling are not necessarily the most morally upstanding guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the guys who climb the ladder, you know, the Triple H's of the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> the Jimmy Fantastics of the world, you know, it's all the same, really. Yeah. <laughs> here we go the uh former versus the current champ going right at it in the ring yeah. and uh right now foxamania looking pretty good but will he look as good if he is to receive tries small package <laughs> no i'm i'm directly telling you the opposite of that marzen that he's not a morally upstanding person <laughs> <laughs> Two hobos. 
Oh, dear. Well, there you go. It is what it is. Discotti won the uh, world championship. Discotti had the world title. Yeah. yeah, he had the world title, not the extra arms belt championship. Foxamania really kind of uh, outpowering try right now. But misses with the Stinger Splash. That could cost them. Here comes Try. Looking sus. <laughs> Looking for a small right, package. See you. see you, Night Demon. Yeah, see you, Night Demon. <laughs> exactly, HDK. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thank God he's got the braces. <laughs> oh! High kick there, right to the side of his head. Oh, that looks painful. And uh, Otter Oil on the apron there, cheering along. Very happy to not have to be doing any wrestling. <laughs> yeah. And you know, tag oh, team could be yep. his niche, right? Because his weakness is it kicking could, out of moves. And if he's got a tag team partner to, to break it up, he won't even have to kick out. <laughs> Absolutely. His finish, is a, uh, his finish is a submission move, which is quite good in, uh, in tags. This could be it. <laughs> Well, this would be a uh, place to, to learn that, I think, against uh, two champ well, a, a, a champion and a former champion. They are so, they also are a pretty well-established tag team, though they've never really made a deep run for the two heads titles. No, they've been they've been almost above the two heads titles, haven't they? In, in the they, they have, yeah. Pretty much came onto the scene and won those titles not too long after. Nice suplex there, though, by Otter Oil. Uh, they are still the stream championship, the stream champs, so there you go. Uh, they've certainly worked a lot of magic in their old tag, tag matches in JFW. Yeah, it's like Yorkshire Mania, you know, you know like Hollywood Hogan, Marzen. Um, so the York, it's like Yorkshire Mania, uh, it's Foxamania. It's like Yorkshire Mania, like Hollywood Hogan. So there you go. Yeah, CBT. I haven't seen a lot of CBT. Straight, <laughs> yeah, straight out of Yorkshire. Yeah, straight out of Yorkshire. That is true. Have not seen those two. They weren't looking so good after that match either. Have not seen uh, where uh, Cock and Ball Torture are. Yeah, interesting. <sighs> yeah, ladders is the weak part of the weak point of CBT. Oh, look at this. Oh. Big elbow drop. Hairy elbow drop. <laughs> From Foxamania. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Otter oil. Oh, dropping the headbutt there. Winding himself up to get some momentum. And lands it. And now, but has, seems to have no effect on your ah, Foxamania. Yep, already gets out though and gets try in. Oof, the champ pretty dominant thus far. Indeed, here comes try. Oh, he's got him on the ropes. He's really got him on the ropes now. <laughs> You've just described most headbutts, Lemon. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Try oh. slamming him, and uh, JBG scared. in to break that one up. Oh, try. Where's he going? Nowhere. <laughs> All right. Try stretching himself out a little bit winded here. He's just looking to insert that small package. Sure is. 
That's, that's the thing with that small package. It can happen at any time, but you got to do it just right. Nice submission here, though, by Foxamania. Finally wiggles his way out of it. <laughs> it's something, isn't it, Lemon? <laughs> <laughs> sure JBG begging for the tag in right now. Oh, he's crawling to the wrong corner, though. And try intercepting, keeping him. Oh, no. Slams his head down, busted him open. And Yorkamania, York god damn it, Foxamania <laughs> really needs to tag out. Yeah, he's taking a lot of damage. Oh, his back's oh, gone. He tries back him out, going for the big move instead of the small package. Oh, that's a fucking and big move right to his face. And he pays for it with the big boot. This is Foxamania's chance to turn this match around. But he's so winded right now. Yeah, he's just got to tag out, hasn't he? But he's not going for it. And here we go, Foxmania battling back. <laughs> oh, here we go. The oh, look drop. at this. The <laughs> leg drop. The leg drop. Will Otter Oil break this pin up? You gotta believe he will. He do instantly. Yeah. Before the count. Oh, and look at this, though. He's going to pay for it. Side rush leg sweep. I'd go right back in to try and pin try again. Yeah. Uh, he misses with the stomp, but he gets him anyway. Under hook, suplex. <laughs> oh, he threw him. Yeah, that was incredible. And look, Otterwell's on the outside. You gotta, I think he could go and pin him Oh, again. no. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Foxamania, big. The Fox Lock. Fox lock in. Middle of the ring. Hot Royal nowhere to help him. And he's done it. He tapped him out the champ. Champ figuring he's already got the belt. No need to suffer any further. He taps out to the YPA. And that is going to do it, folks. The former champ, the current champ, standing tall and looking for more. We are going to see Foxamania. Versus Trifific 1K Part D at our next pay per view in just over a week's time. And that is going to do it for Friday. <laughs> Fuck, stand for what? Friday, stand firm. <laughs> My name is Gorilla Metso. Thank you so much for having me. And I'll see you guys on Monday. Thanks very much, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.